Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise Newspaper and the Florida Center TV Video Production Program. I'm Dylan Sunday Birch. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The St. Mary's County delegation convened last Friday in a closed meeting to vote on their stance on a number of proposals that had been brought forth by the St. Mary's County Commissioners last October. After a reporter inquired about the delegation's decisions, Delegate Brian Cosby told the Enterprise that the three delegates and the state senator representing St. Mary's voted unanimously on several bills that would specifically impact the county, including changes to the county's Open Meetings Act, the decoupling of the county government's debt from the St. Mary's County Metropolitan Commission debt, and an increase in the public accommodations tax. Approval for a solar farm in St. Mary's County has been delayed on account of objection from the nearby naval base. The application for the Whitetail Solar Project was filed last year by Light Source Renewable Energy Development on August 26, requesting authority con to construct a 20 megawatt alternating current solar photovoltaic facility along with associated interconnection facilities in the county. The facility was estimated to take up to approximately 81 acres and was planned to be built in Lexicon Park near the homegrown farm market in Mattapanai Rural Legacy Area. A January 6 letter from Captain Christopher Cox commanding officer of the base, pointed out that the project is located within miles of the center airfield of NAS Pax River and could potentially impact military operations and readiness. About two years ago, Bill Dolans, now 51, realized he had weighed more than he ever had in his life. Dolans, a software engineer who had previously been a consultant for the Navy, began his war on cubicle body in 2017 after learning how to keep himself on track with a regular routine. Dolans created a timeline for himself which included specific dates for each fitness goal, he, he started participating in local races and began working with a personal trainer. Dolan said that now he is more focused on his health than he is with his weight, stating, I've ran races where people of all different sizes will pass me. On Thursday night's wrestling match, Lackey's Paris Blake lifted Lackey to a 35-34 victory over the Braves. Blake said, I just didn't want to let my team down. I wanted to give it my all to make sure we got the win. Lackey's win closed a Southern Maryland Athletic Conference tri-match hosted by the Chargers that also included Leonardtown. The Raiders left Lackey's gym the owners of two wins, dominating Lackey 56-11 to open the night before dispatching Chopticon 54-18. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit smbnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Dylan Sonny Birch. And I'm James King. Signing, Signing off. off.